はい。Hey guys, it's me. Happy New Year, guys. This is 2015. I hope you guys are feeling great. I hope that you guys are ready for this new year because I. But anyways, um, I'm here to share with you guys my favorite hair products slash my updated hair. But these are things that I've actually been using for like a year. <laughs> favorite shampoo I've been using this shampoo well not this shampoo I'll talk about that but I've been using this kind of shampoo for about two years this is the Shea Moisture Yucca and Plantain anti-breakage strengthening shampoo so in my last regimen video for 2014 you guys saw this green bottle but the title was different it was actually called Baobab and Yucca but they just recently changed the formula I had no idea they changed the formula you guys notice the different label I mean it smells the same the colors this smells so good but um the color is the same the label is the same color it's just has a few different ingredients restorative conditioner and can you guys see from the bottle that I love this stuff like <laughs> stuff is just amazing it's all natural Shea Moisture is all natural so it doesn't have anything any cones petroleum or anything or dimethicone that coats your hair blocks out moisture nothing like that usually I add olive oil with this and then I just deep condition under my steamer over there Porosity hair needs protein because my cuticle is damaged, it's raised, it's crazy. And what helps my cuticle lay flat or um, repairs my cuticle temporarily is protein. So my favorite pro ooh, matches me. Okay, so my favorite protein um, conditioner is the Aubrey Organics GPB um balancing protein conditioner and this is their new kind of packaging or design um i believe the ingredients are still the same but this stuff is bomb i leave this on for about an hour i'll steam and then i'll just let it sit on my hair after you can feel like your hair is strengthened it's gonna feel slightly dry but it's not super duper dry <laughs> So um, another favorite of mine, definitely water, spray bottle with water. I can't really do my hair without having some kind of spray bottle to um, wet my hair. So water is definitely a favorite of mine. My leave-in conditioner, I use the Onion Handmade Hairdo. Now I have a detailed review on this. You guys should know how I feel about this already. It's just... I love this really 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 good it smells amazing and it's perfect for moisturizing your hair and it also acts as a styler let me tell you guys that because to do this hair can you guys believe I only use two products I only use this and some extra virgin olive oil can you guys see the definition and I only left my braids in for about hmm, five hours I love that it can double as a styler as well so this stuff is always going to <sighs> I'm always gonna go back to this stuff no matter if I try something different so my favorite styler has to be the Orient handmade whipped pudding I absolutely love this stuff for my wet styles if I'm doing a twist out or a braid out whatever I usually use this it smells like chocolate it's really thick and creamy it's mm, so so good um, it has cocoa butter and shea butter this stuff is the bomb I did do a review on this so definitely check that out shea butter this stuff is amazing this is by coastal scents for my dry tool stuff I use this for a sealant and for more hold, I don't use this on wet hair. 
um it just doesn't really go on wet hair nicely so i use this on dry hair only so um i don't really do wash and goes because i just retain zero length with them so i'm like why even do them i understand they're easy um but i just don't retain length i get knots so it's kind of like setting myself back on purpose so i just don't do wash and goes you guys but i at least do one during the summer because i just have that day where i don't feel like doing my hair or i just feel like doing something easy and the plus with a wash and go is that it's really fast and easy so this is what i use and it's just a concoction that i've made um I've I've been using it since last summer when I was on my wash and go craze. Um, I really did like them because they were easy, but the knots retaining no length, it just wasn't really good for my hair. But um, this is a concoction, and I will definitely do a video on this next summer when I probably do at least one wash and go. Extra virgin olive oil love the stuff um this is really the only oil i use on my hair for real for real uh i use it to seal my hair i use it in my deep conditioners i use it to pre-poo i use it in my um clay mixtures it's just this stuff is just amazing so this is really the only oil i use for sealing purposes and all the other purposes so extra virgin olive oil my hair loves this stuff next i have castor oil this is castor oil it's really thick kind of reminds me of a laxative maybe that's tmi i'm sorry but it looks like a laxative um is it a laxative i think it is a laxative let me know in the comments below castor oil is really good for edges it's so thick i can't use it on the length of my hair it would get really really way down but for my edges it's perfect it helps with making your edges grow and thicker at that because my edges are really really thin and fragile so this is great for edges and my sister i put my sister on this she's been loving it um 100 apricot oil I'm pairing it with olive oil and i've been putting it on my scalp every night and i've noticed rapid hair growth like i'm not saying that it's a magical hair growth oil but i don't know try your own mixture with some apricot oil because my hair has been growing really fast and i did research um apricot oil and i found out that it does encourage hair growth so it's a really good oil and i've been loving loving that mixture so that is it for this video i'm so glad that i got through this recording because recording things twice i don't know how you guys do it like more than once it's just like i'm just i don't feel like doing it anymore so um i hope that you guys enjoy this video this is my favorite video my favorite hair products slash my updated regimen for 2015 i mean i really think i'm going to stick with these products because i've stuck with them for a year now so they work really well for my hair and i just wanted to let you guys know what i use for my wet styling what i use for my dry styling um wash and goes so you guys know all the different products i use not just for twist outs so if you did like this video then please thumbs it up so that i know um if it was helpful to you guys then please let me know subscribe for more videos share this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye Tell me what I just